Do Melang, I hope that everyone is doing well. My name is Bethal Mudisaw Zile and I'm a Master of Economics candidate at the Department of Economics and Economic History at Rhodes University. So my research topic or my three-minute thesis will be on the political economy of industrial policy in post-apartheid South Africa. Now, you might be wondering what these terms mean, political economy, industrial policy. Well, to shed some light, the political economy refers to the branch of social sciences that studies the relationship between a nation's population and its government when public policy is enacted. And there I'm quoting Hooks and Crookston from 2013. Now, what is an industrial policy? Simply put, an industrial policy mainly has to do with um, the production of goods and services in the economy or any form of selective government intervention or policy that attempts to alter the structure of production in favor of sectors that are expected to offer better prospects for economic growth in a way that would not occur in the absence of such intervention in the market equilibrium. So in essence, we're looking at how policy influences the performance of different sectors and we're looking at this in a South African context. You know, and in terms of the economic inequality that the country has experienced, we need to take that into consideration. Um, the Gini coefficient states that South Africa is the most unequal country in the world. And we also, and World Bank also says that wealth inequality is greater than income inequality, meaning that a very few people have more than half the country's wealth. So how exactly do we battle economic inequality by making use of how, how do we do that in terms of making use of industrial policy, making it better? Because if we look at the documents that have come to pass over the last decade, your industrial policy action plan, which was implemented in 2007, speaks to achieving certain targets. Let's say you were to have unemployment by, let's say we, so since it's a 2007 document, let's say you were looking at having unemployment by 2012. And now that has not happened. My aim is to ensure that those gaps are spoken about what is it that we could have done better what key performance indicators are there to ensure that all these action plans coordinate well you know and i also speak on coherent coordination between the different sectors so the textile and clothing industry if those two sectors are not coherent how can we make them coherent what are the problems that um what are the problems that are there to make sure that we can battle them and solve them you know then another part is the middle income trap which speaks to how the country is still in a middle income status but cannot go over to a high income status and i'll be doing a comparative analysis with countries such as brazil china turkey argentina mexico and others you know to ensure that we look at how they've been dealing with premature industrialization as well as the middle income trap and premature industrialization refers to the reduction of industrial capacity or sectoral performance um, in an economy so we do need to look at that as well and that covers that. Thank you for tuning in.